Integral control is a vital component of control systems used to manage a ship's rudder position. In maritime navigation, maintaining precise control over a ship's course is essential for safety and efficiency. Integral control, often referred to as the I in PID, proportional integral derivative, control, plays a key role in achieving this goal. Integral control operates by continuously measuring the difference, or error, between the desired rudder position, commanded, telemotor receiver, and the actual rudder position, measured. It then accumulates this error over time by calculating the integral of the error with respect to time. This accumulated error fed to the control output, variable displacement pump. The significance of integral control lies in its ability to eliminate steady-state errors, which are persistent deviations from the desired course. By accumulating and addressing these errors over time, integral control ensures that the ship's rudder gradually moves to correct and maintain the desired position with high precision. In essence, integral control serves as a corrective mechanism, continuously fine-tuning the rudder's position to keep the ship on its intended course making it an indispensable component of ship navigation systems, contributing to both safety and operational efficiency on the open seas. In a control system, a control loop encompasses several essential components that work together to achieve a specific control objective. These components include the input, error detector, error signal, controller, actuating signal, output, and feedback signal. This fundamental structure applies to various control systems, including PID, proportional integral derivative, control, where these elements play distinct roles. The input serves as the initial reference or set point, defining the desired state or value to be achieved within the system. The error detector continuously measures the deviation between this desired set point and the current state, generating an error signal that quantifies the disparity. The controller, in the case of PID control, consists of three components, proportional, integral, and derivative, each contributing uniquely to the control action. The controller processes the error signal and generates an actuating signal, which represents the corrective action needed to minimize the error. The actuating signal is then applied to the system's output, which could be a physical device or mechanism, like a motor or a valve, responsible for affecting the desired change in the system. The output, in turn, affects the system state. Lastly, the feedback signal provides information on the actual system state, allowing the control loop to continually adjust and fine-tune the actuating signal to maintain the desired setpoint effectively. In summary, the components of a control loop, including input, error detector, error signal, controller, actuating signal, output, and feedback signal, are integral to PID control and various other control systems, working in harmony to regulate and optimize processes across various industries. In the diagram provided, we can draw parallels between integral control components and various mechanical elements of a ship's steering system. The error detector can be likened to a hunting lever. The actuator corresponds to a variable displacement pump. Feedback can be equated to the mechanical connection between the rudder tiller and the hunting lever. The input signal to comparator is analogous to the telemotor receiver. This analogy helps illustrate how integral control functions within the context of ship steering, making it easier to grasp the relationships and interactions between these critical components and the control system. In summary, integral control in ship rudder control systems continuously integrates and responds to heading errors by adjusting the ship's rudder position. This control action ensures that the ship follows the desired heading accurately, even when faced with disturbances or external factors. Integral control, when combined with other control modes, contributes to the stability and precision of the ship's steering system, enhancing navigational safety and efficiency at sea.